Vanessa the Crafty Gemini and I'm back with day six of my 12 days of last minute DIY gifts video series. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you how to make a super soft and cozy eye mask. This project is another quick and easy make, but if you're a beginner, definitely slow down and take your time sewing around the curves. If you're confident and you feel comfortable sewing around some slight curves, then this project will be a breeze for you. Now let's go over the supplies we'll need so we can jump right into making our eye mask. Our sleep mask actually ends up being reversible so you can choose what fabrics you want to use, and then the part that goes over your head is actually made out of fold over elastic. So for supplies, the first thing you'll need is a template, and I've included a link below for you in the description box on where you can head over to my website to download the free pattern that I created for you, or feel free to make your own. The fold over elastic piece, we're working with 5 8 of an inch wide fold over elastic, and it's cut to 12 inches in length. And then we have two pieces here of our cuddle fleece fabric that's just cut roughly a little bit bigger than our template piece. Then you'll also need the basic sewing supplies like pins, something to cut your fabric with, and a sewing machine that does straight stitch and zigzag. First, I want you to place both fabric layers one on top of the other with pretty sides or fuzzy sides of the fabrics touching. Then place your template piece on top and we're gonna place pins through all the layers, the paper template and the fabrics. The reason we're doing it like this is because we're gonna follow around the edge of the template and use that as our guide of where we're gonna go straight stitching. But we do need to start and stop in several places, so it might be a little confusing, but we wanna leave an opening so we can flip the whole thing right side out, and I prefer to leave openings along straight edges, which the straightest edge around this whole thing is gonna be somewhere up here. So you'll probably wanna leave an opening like this, and you don't need a big opening. This fabric is really soft and pliable. So about an inch and a half opening somewhere along the straight edge, then you're gonna stitch here, and I want you to leave, again, about a three quarters of an inch opening along the sides, right at the center point. Because we're gonna use that opening there to insert the fold over elastic before we top stitch the whole thing shut. So, when we stitch, we're gonna start somewhere, say I start here, and I'm just gonna go around the edge. If you mistakenly stitch into the paper, it's no big deal, it will just perforate the paper and you can rip it off, but just try to follow the outer edge when I come to this other side, I'm going to backstitch here and stop, skip this space to leave an opening, pick up again stitching, backstitch here, come around, stop and backstitch, leave this open, then I'll backstitch here. You basically want to leave all the areas that I mentioned opened, and wherever you started or stopped on any of these openings, you want to make sure you backstitch. done sewing let's remove the pins and the template so hopefully you'll see it a little bit better as far as all the starting and stopping that I did while I was stitching all right so here's the opening along the top straight edge to flip the whole thing out through and then we have our openings on the two sides aside from that I just followed around the same outer edge of the template so now we are going to trim away and you might not want to use a rotary cutter if you find that you don't really have a steady hand but you do want to trim your seam allowance to about a quarter of an inch you can also use shears for this just don't trim away all the seam allowance near the openings because we need to have some fabric there that's going to roll under so we can finish off those edges. Now we'll reach in through the opening and flip the whole thing right side out. Now we'll take the ends of our fold over elastic and insert them in the side openings by about half of an inch. And sometimes it helps to have something to help push it in there. Bring it around the other side, make sure there's no loops or twists. Now we'll zigzag stitch to secure the end of the fold over elastic in place. Thank you. 
And then I like to top stitch just about a quarter of an inch in around all the outer edges here, making sure that you don't catch the fold over elastic when you come around these sides. And that top stitching sealed up the top opening we left there and you can see it's done now. It's fully reversible and a great way to use up scraps of some soft and cuddly fabrics. And there you have it, a quick and easy way to make a cozy little eye mask for yourself or for a loved one. Now if you enjoyed this video tutorial, go ahead and hit it with the thumbs up below, share it across the different social media sites or with any of your crafty friends, and don't forget to click the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.